shooting this video for you in Jayatex today. I was visiting the exhibition today and like, trying to connect with technology companies and see what they've got in here. And I found this nice place. I mean, it just looks like, you know, the startup spirit, the entrepreneur spirit. And I don't know, like, I, I thought of just recording this video and sharing it with you here, sitting with these beanbags. And got a few entrepreneurs, all discussing business, right? Now, Okay, so so now as you look into uh, your situation as an entrepreneur and looking to your sales process and uh, consider your marketing and looking into the potential of the marketplace and trying to and trying to connect with your ideal customers, trying to find your ideal customers, trying to reduce the cost of acquiring new customers, uh, trying to increase the traffic to your website, trying to get followers. You know, it's like it's hectic. It's like crazy. So what you can do instead of like getting distracted and focusing trying to go and throw your attention everywhere else, what you can do is that you start and you take your business one platform or one step at a time. All right, It's no way that with a limited budget and uh, limited resources that you can take over the social media. And at the same time, uh, looking into other platforms of the social media, looking like into Instagram, for example, and seeing, uh, seeing those people who are getting a lot of followers and sometimes you get like the brisk, like they've got a million followers and I got only just a couple of hundred or a thousand or something, a couple of thousand followers, that get you crazy. So what you can do is stop focusing on this uh, mass social media and take one platform only at the beginning. Master that platform, know the ins and the outs, know how to uh, utilize it better to, uh, to grow results and consider as well bait ads because, you know, the organic traffic in the social media is no longer that effective anymore. I mean, it's just uh, crazy how, how the organic reach and take it from there. So once you like feel, all right, I'm now happy with the results I'm getting here or I feel like I'm in control on Facebook, for example. Okay, now let's consider Instagram and then, okay, once you feel okay with Instagram, in control with Instagram, then you move to another platform. Maybe you start using LinkedIn and so on. Yeah, the question is with, 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 with which platform to, to start with. Well, there is no right, wrong or right answer uh, for, for this question. Uh, the thing is that it depends where your ideal customers are spending most of their time. Maybe LinkedIn. So you start with LinkedIn until you feel like you're in control there. Uh, you feel comfortable using the platform, sharing your stuff, finding results, getting engagement. I'm not talking here about just the technicality of using the platform. I mean, everybody knows how to use it, right? But I'm talking here about finding results from that platform. And then you take it to uh, another step and so on and so forth. And uh, keep in mind that your goal as, as marketer is to convert the traffic into a lead, someone who is just shopping around on the internet, coming to your website and then joining your list, um, subscribing to your chatbot, uh, giving you the emails, uh, giving you the permission to contact, with, becoming a lead, you know, that's the point because this is how sales work. Traffic, leads, then sales, right? You can't immediately take the, the traffic and make them sales right away without getting them into a lead. Now maybe you're, you're, you're thinking like some uh, products been just promoting the product immediately to the customers and uh, like sending them to a checkout page or a sales page immediately, like asking them for the order from the first instant. Well, they don't buy immediately, right? Uh, they retarget them once, twice, thrice, maybe six times sometimes, right? Seven times. So in a, in a way or another, they are in a list doesn't necessarily need that they are giving you the contact details. Maybe they've just saw your ad uh, someday and then the other day they clicked on your ad. Maybe they saw a video, then later on saw a post from you, then later on visited your website and so on. So uh, a relationship been established. Okay, and then eventually they, they paid attention to your products, your services, to your offers and then decided to buy from you. Okay, so before they like this is the conversion window see the sales conversion window which is from the time the first from the first time someone here or see your your offers online to the moment they become customers so this is the conversion window now the conversion window is different or vary from a business to, a better, to another business uh, a lot of factors in fact play here a big role including the price uh, the category of the product 
including uh, the copy writing, your, your, how good your copy is, and a lot of other factors. But there is a conversion window. So your goal all the time should be focused on this part, is taking this traffic into this conversion window that eventually make them customers. Not just looking around to get followers, like and share, because likes does not equal money. I mean, more likes does not give you more money in your business, right? I hope you understand this. So your point, you, your goal is to convert as much traffic as possible from your ideal traffic. I mean, the right people, not, not every, everyone online is a potential customer, right? So you want to make sure that your content goes in front of the right customers and then take them into this conversion window until they eventually become a customer. Later on, when you keep repeating this process, when you keep working or keep adding, or keep trying different stuff with one platform, you will come to, uh, in a position then, to, to understand how your conversion window is performing, and uh, you become like more sophisticated to optimize your conversion window, maybe to shorten the time, instead of it is like a, a one week conversion window, maybe you make it four days or three days or one day and so on, right? Maybe uh, you, you look into the conversion window and see the conversion rate, how many, how many people uh, from, uh, like who, who go through the conversion window of yours eventually become customers. So how to increase this number and what to enhance, what to do. So here comes big part uh, and play big part is for your focus and the ability to, to pay attention to the details and see how uh, the uh, each part of your funnel or your marketing campaign or your conversion window is working so you start uh, seeing different results when you start testing of course different aspects of your funnel now the same story applies to any business uh, whether it's a service or, or or a product there is a conversion window and the same sales tips traffic leads sales no way that any of these tips to be skipped. Maybe some businesses have it like a short uh, conversion window, so immediately someone buy from the, uh, see their stuff, so they immediately become a lead and become a customer. Or maybe it's a long uh, window. Maybe it takes a month to close a deal from someone who goes through your conversion window. It, de it depends on here on different factors, as I told you. But the point is, uh, it's not measured your performance your success is not measured of how many people are uh, following your facebook uh, page or instagram account it's measured of how, how your ability to convert as much of those people online not doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be a followers into becoming uh, leads then sale then then, then uh, from traffic to leads to sales so in other words to go through your conversion window i hope you like this video and thank you very much see you another one bye bye Thank you.